Let's see, share that now. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I wanna talk to you about the keys to happiness, the keys to evolving, the keys to enlightenment to get there. So just imagine you, you have a keychain, right? And you're trying to open the door to, you know, total joy, happiness, freedom, love, balance, and peace, all of that. So there's three keys. Don't mind my fingernails. All of us haven't been to the, um, the, the nail salon. So the first key is desire. And it's a big key because desire is actually, this is going to, this is what you need to, to, to get anywhere. You need the desire. You need to want to move forward. You need to, your desire has to be bigger than your fear, your laziness, your um, complacency, uh, you know, fear of rejection, abandonment. So your desire has to be big. You got a smaller key called pursuit. And I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you why it's a little bit smaller. It's a smaller key because you start on the right track. You start moving one foot in front of the other, doing the next right thing. But your intuition, your higher power, God, higher, you know, infinite intelligence, source, inner being, whatever, they're in control. So your pursuit, things will start to open up for you. Okay, so you won't, you, you need to keep, you need to keep moving, but you don't have to always be the driver and be in control because the, the, the universe is in control, okay, or God or whatever you want to call it. Now the third key, and it's very funny because this key has a P on it, it's perseverance. If you can see it, I'm showing, I have, I'm on Instagram and Facebook here. Okay, this is a big key. Because there will be obstacles that come up or other people will come up against you. You have to persevere. And I want to talk about specifically one of the little notches on the key of perseverance is adaptability. And I want to talk about adaptability because we're in a time right now where this is very important. We've all had to adapt to staying home to not going to work and if you're going to work it's a completely different animal so your desire your i'm sorry your your adaptability you have to learn how to ad adapt so you have desire pursuit perseverance so under perseverance you have adaptability and i'm going to tell you how this all came up for me my niece was here and this weekend we were social distancing and she's writing essays for college for scholarships and one of the and I, I said well let's talk about the topic and the topic was why did she choose the the high school that she's at because she's at a um a catholic high school and i said you know i said you have to adapt you had to adapt to that school in order to be successful i said and that's the key and so we started to look up i said look up charles darwin and it, you know, we know, I'm not going to quote it perfectly, but it's not the strongest in the species that survives, but the one that is most adaptable to change, right? So it got me to thinking, I was talking to her about this and about her in, in particular for her. And, and so I start to think about this for me, for you, for everybody. And you'll notice that the people that, that are the most miserable are the ones that just sit and grump and you know growl and and ah, this is terrible and blah, blah, blah. but they don't do anything to better their lives they don't make the changes they'll sit you have those complainers in your life sometimes they're not so grouchy but they're whiny and they're like, oh this is terrible uh, i'm not getting along with my husband or boyfriend my kids are driving me nuts i don't like my job and then and then 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 they're not doing anything about it they're not adapting they're not doing things to move 
to, to make those changes. They're not accepting the changes that are going on because sometimes we're in a marriage or in a partnership and things have changed and either you adapt or you got to get out, right? Look at the time that we're in right now. And before I, I get into that, I knew somebody when I was growing up, the dad made overhead projectors, loaded, tons of money, whatever. I think he died broke because he didn't adapt to the technology change. Nobody uses those anymore, right? So now in this situation that we're in with the, all the corona crap, if your business didn't adapt, you either closed down because, you know, a lot of times those uh, some restaurants closed down because it probably cost them more money to run on takeout than it did to, to close down. Okay, they had to make a change. But those places like uh, I was thinking about like hair salons and hello, look at the nails, nail salons. What could they be doing? Well, how about bottling your the hair color and, ha and having people come to the store one at a time and selling the hair color? How about doing videos on how to color your own hair? How about videos on how to take this crap off your fingernails so that you can do your nails? That's adaptability, right? So you can see certain people are adapting. You'll see on Facebook or wherever that, you know, for birthday parties and stuff, people will do a drive-by and, you know, have signs and stuff for that person. That's adapting. That's emotionally adapting. If you cannot adapt, you are either going to be miserable or you're just going to fizzle out. And that's that's the bottom line. And I talk about this today because I, I talk about becoming the butterfly when you, we come out of this cocoon instead of the same old caterpillar. It's the same thing. Are you moving forward? Are you adapting? Are you doing good things for yourself? Are you changing and rolling with the punches? You know, just kind of going with it. Are you, are you swimming upstream? Or are you, you know, on a raft going right down the river it's either easy or hard you got to go with it it's harder to go against the grain this is what's happening everybody you know i had a, a friend right at the beginning of this lockdown she lost her marbles because she couldn't stand being home alone and i'm like clean your closets do some you know do something do something to make your situation the happiest you can make it for you and i believe that being able to adapt desire pursuit perseverance with under that adapting is the key to enlightenment it's a key to ev evolving and if you want to be really happy i'm not talking just superficial happy but really content and happy deep down in your soul you need to adapt you need to evolve and hopefully i don't know about all of you but i'm hoping for enlightenment because i know that's a deeper understanding and a better understanding and a and and, and a knowing of what reality really is is when you're enlightened <clears throat> So that's where I'm going. If you all want to come with me, come on. Otherwise, I'm adapting and moving forward. And that's what happens too. You sometimes have to leave people behind if you're moving forward. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, I hope, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to pull a grace card for all of you. Let's see, I'm right from the middle. Mine was a good one today. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, wow, wow. Hello. Surrender. Surrender is the key that unlocks the door to grace. Well, well, well. Weren't we just talking about keys? You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. I just pulled it from the middle of the deck. 
So surrender is a key that unlocks the door to grace. We're talking about keys, doors, surrender. Don't swim upstream. So um, my book is now ready for pre-order. You can uh, find the link to reserve your copy in the description of this video. And I, when, when I get the books, I will be signing them and sending them to you. And uh, also, if you need help during this situation, I'm offering free 30-minute intuitive coaching calls without a sales pitch. You know, so if you need that, please uh, look at the uh, links in this video. And of course, I'm here always for coaching. And I hope when things, not just hope, I know, because I talked about that yesterday, I know that when everything opens up, I'm going to be ready to take all of you to Sicily to learn how to be a Sicilian and to enjoy life. So I'm here for you. Message me, look at the links in the description of this video, pick something, whatever you need, I'm here for you. So, no, I love you all, right? So take a risk, be vulnerable, share your heart and love always. Wishing you love, balance and peace. Ciao, ciao, baby. Love you.